Welcome to this Pixtope tutorial. In this video, we will create a reconstruction for Pixtope Fly using pre recorded drone footage. Start the Pixtope Fly worker program. The distance factor needs to be adjusted. When filming with a drone, the scale of the environment is larger, so the distance factor needs to be lower. Make sure the correct lens file for the drone is selected. Set the first keyframe. When the drone has moved enough, set the second keyframe. Reconstruct the area of interest, either automatically with the appropriate distance factor or by taking keyframes manually. When finished, click Set Coordinates to open the keyframe editor. Select three points to define the coordinate system. Choose points that are precisely identifiable from different perspectives. The points must also not be too close together. Points that are far apart create more precise tracking. In this case, we're using the roof because we want the graphic to be on top of it. This roof is tilted and not parallel to the floor, so we will need to adjust the angle later on in order to ensure the graphics are upright. The three points need to be defined in at least two keyframes. More than two is better. Set axis orientation as well as the scale. The scale is the real-world distance between the first two points. Control if the grid sits correctly in 3D space. To send the tracking data to the graphics engine, the Pixitope Fly Chief program is needed. Select the same lens file as the worker program. After the sender has been configured, the tracking data is automatically sent to the graphics engine. In the graphics engine, we want to move the AR object into position and also adjust the angle to compensate for the inclined roof. Now when we play the footage, the AR object sits perfectly in the real-time video. Remember to adjust the delay with the graphic engine's output. For more information on this, or any other Pixitope subject, please visit the Pixitope Help Center. Link in the description.